like how many all material like you get rid of all you get rid of every single piece of material except for all material and you get them all mastered so then you'd have like everything would be all and i think there's 200 you've got 200 plus the slots on each character this used to be all my friends and i used to play oh just final fantasy 7 that's pretty chill like like the comfy game yeah and just wear the shit out of the disc and hopefully hopefully it was a backup burnt cd cdr that you played on a modded uh ps1 hell yeah Yeah, yeah. I just want to get a little bit deeper because I believe I've got a save crystal that I can drop. Yeah, here. And I really should put some material on Hitsif. Even though I hate him. He still needs something. Uh, yuffies, okay. Um, oh baby, W item throw, W summon, throw, yay. I'm just trying to get to that area where it's best put the save. Here a drink, yeah. Can I go down this way? No, this is a, I think this is a complete dead end. But that doesn't matter, I could probably put the, the save down right now. Shit. Okay, thank god. Thank goodness you were not still playing that other game. It was breaking your mind. Uh, though, life, I want you to feast your eyes on this. I want you to feast your eyes on it. I finally did it. You don't deserve it. Missed the jump. GG. GG no re. <laughs> Let me live. Let me live. Stop impeding me with these HP sapping enemies. Oh yeah, awesome. Like, they, they spawn around top. Hell yeah. Suck my dick. Yeah. Awesome. Pretty much, life. Pretty much. Alright, I got my magic overflow glitch going. I got my chimkin. I'm ready to take on the big boss. And so it begins. Now getting juggled twice, I thought, okay, this attempt's probably fucked. But then, something miraculous happened. I started inflicting mass damage very quickly, and I was like, oh, wait a minute. I'm not getting juggled anymore either. I'm like, ooh. I mean, look at the progress there. Thank you. 
I thought to myself, there's no way I can fuck this up. And it was very close at this point here. Twenty-five hours just for that. Yeah! Yeah! There we go. Let it all out, Aaron. Let it all out. Tell him. Tell him what you really think. Um. I mean, I hear you, but at the same time, I'm like. It's just, it's just not part of my nature. Like when when you're locking in um, hardcore achievements, you you've got to like take off the uh, the training wheels completely. Just trust in the process. That's how I view it. Um, maybe it would have been quicker. Who knows? Um, like if it got to the point where I was doing like you know if I managed to defeat them deathless like three times in a row, then like. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I just don't know. I don't know. All I do know is that I've finally done it. Speaking of finally doing something, let's go back to this. We're going to drop a save. Because we do get one save crystal, I believe. Which is somewhere here. I've made it here. You now have a cluster of neurons dedicated to that game segment the size of your Japanese language neuron net, yeah. Something like that. Something like that. I think I think there are spare slots here, so we're just gonna choose one here. This one here, I'm pretty sure like we've got a lot of um maxed out things. But I'm pretty sure that there is a different save as well where, like, my characters are completely, like, overpowered. Like, level 99, everyone. So, yeah. Anyways. Right, let's drop another Mega Lixer, because we can. Boom. And then, um, Hyper. If I have Hyper again, it would, um, inflict, um... Fury status. Tranquilizer will then take away Fury status, but then if I used another Tranquilizer, it would it would reinflict sadness. So it's it's a very annoying mechanic that, but you know whatever. Okay, now um, there is apparently. Let me just shut the music off for a little bit. Thank. Uh, All right, let's get the battle. Obviously, that's not going to do it. Okay, is it going to be quicker for me to... No, I'll probably just uh, restart and then load from the save. Yeah. That's probably going to be the quickest way for me. <clears throat> yeah. Definitely. You see how, like, in order to get the game over, you need to make Kate Sid's face. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to jag it. It's just really, f it's, it's so, it's so sketchy. You, you don't know.
favorite soldier. This is cute. Bang. Very damaging attack. Oh, did I just close? Yeah, I closed the content. Great. Uh, let's just load it back up again. Holy shit. Holy shit. I just, I, uh, I just wanted to try. Like, I feel like that might be a way of doing it, legit. Just like, yeah. You know? No? Okay. Okay. Eh, eh, eh. Come on. Eh, eh. Now, um, some people, for whatever reason, they've admitted in um, the forum thread that they've reduced the emulator speed in order to get this achievement. I'm like, uh, you really shouldn't be admitting to shit like that. Because <laughs> they can literally take away your achievements if you cheat. Because that's technically cheating, dude. Everyone's got to slog through this, you know, the same. You know what I mean? Damn it. Damn it. The force sucks. The force sucks. I feel these retro achievements are a huge time, time sink, S-I-N-K, but I guess it provides some measure of dedication. Yeah, it does, it does. I can show people, like, um, you know, years from now, like, yeah, I did the set for that. I, <coughs> I fully predict that, um, retro achievements, if they don't become too elitist, um, they will, they will simply grow in popularity. Um, because people are going to be turned off um, from AAA games asking, you know, between $80 and $100 per title. People are going to be poor in the next couple of years. And they're going to be like, oh yeah, what the, what the, what's this? A Nintendo? 1988 games? Oh, but aren't they bad? Try them. They're classics for a reason. And people, like, once you expose a normie to retro, like, usually, like, 99% of the time they're instantly fucking hooked. Honestly, some people crave modern gaming and, you know, that's cool and all, but like, usually if you show someone that has had like no real exposure to like old school gaming and you're like, hey, check this out, they're, they're amazed. They're amazed. That too, yep. We don't want crypto fucking mining stuff. We don't want, um, data mining. We don't want, um our details being read by AI, you know, which is going to inform some big corporation's marketing campaign. Yet we don't want microtransactions. Exactly, there's like a huge focus on graphics, but not enough on gameplay. Because they require constant, you know, a constant uh, testing loop, which uh, they can't afford. It's like, get the game out, and then patch it day one, day, day two. Get your money, then get out. A lot of the, the love, and a lot of the time that was afforded to smaller studios back in the day, they just don't give them nowadays. Um, okay. 
I feel like I'm going to come up against a brick wall with this one. I may like just capitulate, but I want to see if there's like something online for this. Specifically, I want to see if there's something on retro achievements. So come, come search with me. All right, I've only got four more dudes. I've got the low level challenge, which is going to be a nightmare. This is the one. This one here, this one here, and this one here, they can be completed on the low level run. I have a chance of doing this now, and I want to just get this out of the way. I really do. You can actually skip the evil flag by using turbo fire. You need to have the first two parts of Kate Sith face, and when you're about to get the last part of face, turbo fire it so it skips the slot selection and gives you gamer instead of death joker okay something called an evil flag can be a f do this before 99 hours on the clock right um i heard that um if you try to do this afterwards um it can affect um it can affect things Sorry, I'm missing some comments. Let me just go back to it. There's nothing micro about a $50 purchasing game yet. Hell yeah. Most of the montiles fall into action RPG and have near identical gameplay, whether it's a Zelda, like Breath of the Wild, Golden Ring, Sekiro, Yakuza. Yeah. There's no creativity in gameplay style. That's why indie titles are going to save us all, man. Indie titles. Like, um, there was one that recently dropped. Uh, I played it during Next Fest. If you don't know what Next Fest is, I'll remind everyone. Next Fest happens a couple times a year on Steam. It's when they showcase free demos. Like, hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of free demos. Usually it goes for about a week. Um, there was one that I played during the last Next Fest. And I think it was called The Secret Forest of Ogu. All right, let me see if I can pull this up. Because it's just been released. And I'm thinking of, of getting it. I'm not thinking of streaming it just yet, but you never know. Oh, I'm sorry. Ogu and the Secret Forest. It's a Zelda-like. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if anyone watched uh, my Next Fest streams, but... Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Early Access version? <laughs> Early Access? <laughs> I don't know about this. D -d 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 work in progress. Uh, this, honestly, if, if this was fully complete, like... This would be a really good game, but... Housing? Interesting. It really is... Or, or rather, it really was, like, a pleasure to play this game. Okay, it looks like we're going to have to wait a little bit more. Like, it, it is out. It is early access. There's 10% off for its first week. Uh, I would caution against buying any early access game, except Project Zomboid. Project Zomboid, you want to spend your money on that? I would agree. It's a very good game, and I don't think it's ever going to leave early access. But they're still putting in work on that shit. Um, anyway, let me go back to this one. Yeah, Evil Flag. Du -du 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 -du. Watch tons of videos, tons of explaining, and still win it just by trick with Retro Fours. A friend talked me into buying Valheim. Ooh, I'm sorry, Skedaddle. 
I, I did see that game and I thought maybe it's got a future, but I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're still working on it too, Valheim. It's just like its player base just like it died, didn't it? Um, that doesn't mean it's a bad game. It's just like, you know, when you when you've got games like that that come out, like you've got it, you've got to have something that pulls people in and keeps them there. Otherwise, they're gonna flee. It's it's the gameplay loop, right? They haven't perfected it, so people just like you know. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, okay, what they're saying for this uh, achievement is try and get Kate Sid's face um, for the first two parts. And then if you've done that, then turn on turbo, like attach it to a particular button and then press that. And then that will, that should um, unlock it. We can give it a try. Oops. Just down the way. Too fast, boys. It's too fast. What sort of fucking crackhead would like be able to detect this shit? This is not pleasurable. You saw um, the last part of the face. Yes. I know that you're all very impressed by seeing the last part of the face. If only there was like a way for normies like me to get this so that I never have to touch it ever again. Oh shit, a tongari. Might be here a while, boys. <laughs> Might be here a while. Oh, I'm 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 cutting it off at four AM like regardless. So, 22 minutes. Yeah. Who, who predicts that I'll be able to do this? I don't predict I'm going to be able to do this. I believe that there's like um like a chart 
Where is it? Let me show you. It says here, pressing a particular button stops the reel. I want to know what that button is. Okay, okay. So let's just... Okay, have a, have a look at this. Okay, it's saying here, pressing square stops the reel, and tapping it slows it down. Okay, and here is the pattern here. Yeah, so if I'm able to get the first two, so this one here, or this one here, and then the face here, then I can go into RetroArc and then switch it to Turbo Button. Uh, I might as well have a look in, in RetroArc now for that. So if I do F1, Controls, Turbo, Okay. Okay. I think it's already on. Okay, okay, okay. So if I just... Hmm. So if I... I mean, I can kind of get it. Shit. It's just it's just way too jank for me to try to do that that way. I I, I can't do it. 